for all eager players, the machine full of counters, and me, Ben Shepherd, at your service. It all points to one thing. This is Tippy. <laughs> Welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players who are hoping to win thousands today. I'm Stephen, a senior manufacturing buyer from County Antrim. I'm Alison, a primary school teacher from Bristol. I'm Matt, a sales team leader from Preston. And I'm Cathy, a retired customer service advisor from Bridge End. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Points. So in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those drops for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be going home £20,000 richer. However, do remember the player with the lowest score at the end of this round will leave the game with absolutely nothing. So keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Hands on your buzzers, comes your first question. In Greek mythology, everything King Midas touched turned, Stephen, gold. To which precious metal it did turn to gold? You're absolutely right, Stephen. Would you like to play or would you like to pass, Stephen? I'll uh, pass. Okay, who are you going to pass to? Alison, Matt or Cathy? Cathy. Cathy, down the end here. Right. You get to launch the machine today. Okay. Have a good look. Where do you think it looks like you might get some money? I think Drop Zone 4 looks okay, so I think I'll try Drop Zone 4. All right, let's do it then, Cathy. Drop Zone 4, please. And our first drop of the show. Let's see, Cathy, how generous the machine's feeling today. Ricochets need that to be flat if we can. Don't want to start with one. Oh, it's flat. Oh, okay, it's flat. Great. Can we get that mystery down, Kathy? Yeah. That's what we need to aim for. Yeah, very close. Very close. You can see how far over it is. Yeah. That camera in the machine. It's not going to go, I'm afraid. Kathy, they're going to stay there. Nothing from your first drop, Kathy. Okay. Next question. Lennox Lewis was a professional competitor in which? Stephen. Boxing. Which sport until his retirement in 2004? Yes, he was a boxer. Are you going to play this time, Stephen? Yes, I will play. Okay, where are you going to go? Drop zone four, please. All right, bar up four, please, for Stephen. Ideally on that right-hand side, Stephen. Mm-hmm. Rattles and rolls and settles. Ooh, where's this going to go? No, yes, yes, squeeze it over. And you got two counters into the wind zone. That mystery's going to stay there still. £100 for you, though, Stephen. Thank you. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So you're up and running with £100, and you've still got two counters left as well. Next question. In which European country is the popular tourist region of the Algarve? Stephen. Portugal. It is in Portugal. Uh, are you going to go again, Stephen? I'll pass. You're going to pass to Alison, Matt, or Cathy? Uh, Matt. Matt, your chance now. Where would you like to go? Drop zone four, please, Ben. Drop zone four for Matt, please. Settles nice and centrally. Are you going to go there? Yeah. Is the tipping point going to give in for you? Oh, yes, it is. Oh. Seven counters there. Oh, thanks to Stephen. £350. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So it's a good, strong drop with your first counter, Matt. £350. And you've still got two left as well. Yes. OK, next question. The name of which type of church follows Winchester, Canterbury, Stephen? Cathedral. And St Paul's to give the name to three religious buildings. Yeah, Stephen, yet again, gets the answer right. He got there first. Uh, what's the decision this time, Stephen? To play or to uh, pass? After the last time, um, I'll play. OK, where are you going to go? Drop some three. Drop some three for Stephen, please. What do you think, Stephen? Mine's on the right side. It's on the right side. Put a couple over the top shelf. Hold on, hold on. Bottom shelf ready, though? No, it's not. Got one counter left now with £100. 
Next question. Drag is the Welsh word. Kathy. Dragon. <laughs> for what mythical creature that appears on the flag of Wales? I had to get that one you right. Had to get that one right. <laughs> now then, would you like to play, Kathy? Would you like to pass? I'm going to play, okay. uh, and I'll try drop some three, please. Okay, let's have three for Kathy, please. <laughs> Central there, Kathy. Let's see if we can get something over that top shelf. Come on now. Yeah. yeah. Gonna come for the double two. Let's get you some money if we can. Oh, well. Just the one. You nudged a few here and there, didn't you, oh, Kathy? I think you might get a bit. One counter though. It's better than nothing. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So put you on fifty pounds, and you've got one counter left to play. Next question. The international organisation Group of Twenty is more commonly known by what acronym? Stephen. G20. It is the G20, yeah. Would you like to play or would you like to pass, Stephen? I'll play. OK. Drop some three, please. Will it work this time? Fire up three for Stephen. <laughs> Not messing around. Hammers down. Settles on the left of centre. Uh, Stephen, is it going to work out? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you got four yeah. counters. Well done. Four counters dropped in the end, which is £200. Let's take that and put it into your bank. So that puts you just behind Matt. You've got £300. You have now used all three of your counters, Stephen, so for the time being, you are out. Next question. In the Harry Potter series of novels, what mode of transport is the Hogwarts Express? Matt. It's a train. It is a train. Yeah. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'd like to play, please, Matt. Okay, where are you going to go? Drop zone three. All right, drop zone three for Matt. And a lovely first seven count drop. What can we get of this one here, Matt? It's a lovely tipping point. Just the left. What do you think? Uh, it's on the right side, I think, to get those some, some over. Oh, Maybe not. Oh, yes. Oh. It took its time. Matt, there's a lovely five count drop for you this time. £250. Take it and put it into your bank. It's going to extend your lead. Thank you very much. have £600. And then you've still got one counter left as well. Next question. The male and female of which aquatic creature are called a sea stallion and sea mare? Kathy. Seahorse. It is seahorse, yes. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to go for it. OK. And I'm going to go in drop zone three and hope it stays to the left. All right. Fire up drop zone three, please. Nice drop down the left where you wanted it. Could be good. There's one in the middle out. So, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Kelson! Oh, unlucky. That's yeah. unlucky. Never mind. Nothing from your third and final counter. You have now used all three, so for the time being, you've got £50, but you are out. It's just Alison and Matt left in. That mystery counter has just fallen ambiently, but it's settled on the bottom shelf. Nothing changes in the machine. Next question for Alison and Matt. Shut up, big for your boots, and blinded by your grace are all hits by which UK Matt? Stormzy. UK grime artist. They are hits for Stormzy, yep. Yeah. Are you going to play your last counter, Matt? Uh, no, I'm going to pass it, please. Alison. Finally, I get a chance. Finally, you're going to get to get amongst it. Where do you want to go? Um, I'm going to stick with Drop Zone 3. It's been quite lucky so far. All right, so. Okay. Fire up Drop Zone 3, please. Here we go. Rapid drop. It was quick, wasn't it? Threw itself down the drop zone. It settled nicely. It's flat. Oh, it's flat. It's flat. It's good. Slide those few counters forward. Yeah, there's a couple. Oh. Over here. Has Matt made the right decision? Oh! oh. I think well, it's worth the wait. <laughs> Stephen was generous with his pass. Matt, you were generous with your pass. Ten counters across the tipping point. That's five hundred pounds. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That puts you into second place, just behind Matt on five hundred pounds. You've still got two counters left to play as well, Alison. Next question for Alison and Matt. Colour blindness chiefly affects which organ of the human body? Alison. Yeah, I see. Is the eye? Yeah, absolutely. Are you going to play or pass this one, Alison? I'm going to play. I'm going to go over to drop zone one, please, Ben. Try and get that mystery counter okay, if I can. Okay, I'll that. Fire up drop zone one, please. Big bounce.
That's a yo-yo On the right side, that's good. There's a few there. Might miss the mystery, but could get you a yeah, couple. Yeah, we missed. Gonna get close. Oh, oh Just lucky. set some tipping point. Nothing from that one. You still got one more counter to go, though, Alison. Next question. Which German sportswear company is famous for using three stripes? Matt. Adidas. As its logo, it is. Yes, Adidas. You're right. One last counter, Matt. Would you like to pass this one? Uh, no, I think after that I'm going to play. <laughs> Where are you going to go? Uh, I'm going to go to drop zone four, please, Ben, and hope it stays on that left-hand side of the group on the edge there. There is, yeah. Top and bottom, fire up drop zone four. <coughs> Needs to be accurate, this map. To try and extend your lead. Wrong side. Wrong side. Unless these drop over and slide out, which can happen. Can slide. There you go, yep. Yeah. Nice double shove. Keep driving through. Oh, yeah. nice three counts in the air. Well done. Hey. 150 pounds. Let's head out and put it into your bank. It's going to leave you on 750 pounds. And you've got our first mystery prize as well, which is a luxury picnic hamper, courtesy of Regency Hampers. Oh, I love this stuff. Enjoy. Very nicely done. You've got 750 pounds though, Matt, so you've used all three counts. For the time being, you are out. Uh, Alison, it's just you left in, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. Okay. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put your last counter into the machine. Here we go then, Alison. Hanoi is the capital city of which Asian country? Vietnam. It is Vietnam. Well done, Alison. Gabby, I'm sorry. Oh. That means we'll lose you. Uh, one more counter for you here, Alison. I am going to stick with drop zone one, please, Ben. Okay, one up, please. <laughs> Bounds and rebounds. Yeah, that's not Bounces. the right side, really. Not quite. It is flat, though. Can we drive something through hard enough to get over that top shelf here, Alison? It's a good shove. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, oh. very close. Very close. Just keep an eye on it. Sadly, nothing from your final counter, Alison. So the score stays they were. That means that Matt is leading with £750. Alison goes through with £500. Stephen joins her with £300. Cathy, I'm so sorry, but that does mean with £50 in your bank, we have found your tip point. Thank you for playing. Yeah, thank you, Ben. I've enjoyed myself. It's been thank lovely you. to meet you, Cathy. So join us after the break to see which of today's three remaining players will win through to our head-to-head and -head a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Tipping point where Steve, Alison, and Matt have all survived to play round two. In this round, they each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a count to play into the machine. And as before, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will leave the game with absolutely nothing. Uh, so, Matt, you are leading from round one, which means it's your choice. Uh, if you think the machine is ready, you could play first. Alternatively, you could ask Alison or Steven to play. Uh, I think I'm going to ask Steven to play first. All right, then, Steven, you get to play first. 30 seconds for Steven, please. The time starts now. Mutt, Mongrel and Pooch. Dog. Correct. In her 1984 UK number one single, Nana sang about 99 red words. Correct. Which sci-fi comic book enforcer has the catchphrase, I am the law? Judge Trail. Correct. The 11th day of which month is most associated with the Royal British Legion's copy? November. Correct. Launched in March 2018, the letter C on the new 10 pence coins represents which bat and ball sport? Correct. The 2000 animated film, The Tigger Movie, was based on characters created by which author? A.A. Hey, hey, Correct. Situated on the Thames Estuary, Canby Island is located... Situated on the Thames Estuary, Canby Island is located in which English county? Did you know? Kent. It's in Essex. Six correct answers is a really, really good return. Where would you like to start? Uh, drop some one. Bar up, drop some one for Stephen, please. So four counters towards your level with Alison. That's your first challenge, Stephen. Slides and settles very nicely. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. There you go. And that's going to get close, is it? Ooh, counter under the mystery belt. The mystery stayed where it is. That's 50 pounds, though, Stephen. OK, thank you. Let's put that in the machine. Still got five more to go. I'll go drop some one again. One up, please. Bit of a hole there. Yeah, you want to nudge that? Nudge it, nudge it. No. Not quite. So you filled the gap, Stephen. Yeah, okay, that's good. That silver counter looks pretty steady too. Four more counters to put in. Stay with drop zone one. Yes, please. One up again, please. Very 
having steady bounce and drop. Oh, nice flat. Scaling down. Oh, the set one's down. That's how close it was to going. Some fuel, a few drop then. So four cans of drops. And a few more go down. Another double drop. Any more here? Another two. Six counters have dropped. So let's put 300 pounds in. That takes you 350 pounds. One of them is the mystery counter as well, Stephen. Uh, you've won yourself a champagne experience at the view from the Shard. It's an overnight stay at a four-star hotel. Oh, lovely. Thank oh, you. Fantastic. Great drop. Try. Fantastic. Oh, a little ambient drop. Sadly, that last one that's just dropped is out of play, Stephen. Oh. So sadly, we'll have to avoid those extra counters from the machine. And we've still got three more to go. I think I'll go with drop zone one. Okay. The stay with drop zone one, please. Still gathering on that right hand side, aren't they? Need it to the metal to the right. Yeah. Double could get that forward too. There. That's oh, good. Yes. Yes. Come on. It's gonna hit there. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. Oh, gap. Just fill the gap. You're absolutely right. Two still to go, though, Stephen. I'll stick my drop zone one. One up again, please. Now that's gone down the left. That's not so good. Either. Is that going to fill a gap as well? Yes, it is. Oh, oh my Stephen. It's just snuck in that gap, isn't it? Doing a lot of hard work to fill up these gaps. But we need something out. We're still 100 pounds short of Matt at the moment. I've stuck with it this mm. length of time. I'll have to stuck the drop zone one. So let's do it. Put a lot of hard work into this bar up one, please. Just reversed on you. My flat. Is it going to be flat? Is it going to be flat? Yes, it is. Now we need a really nice, good, generous shove here, Stephen. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, that looks good. Mm -hmm. There's a one and a few. Uh, so another four across the tipping point there, Stephen. Let's add 200 pounds in. Takes you to 550 pounds. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that just sneaks you into the lead. You've got 850 pounds now, so well done. Right then, Matt, your choice again. Would you like to play next, or would you like Alison to maybe go? I'll play this time, I think. Okay, 30 seconds for Matt, please. The time starts now. In a standard deck of playing cards, how many red queens are there? Four. Two. In which southwestern county of England is the pasty maker Ginsters based? Sussex. Cornwall. Launched by the Soviet Union, in which decade did the first man made satellite called Sputnik reach space? 40s. 50s. Hans Christian Andersen wrote a short story called The Emperor's New What? Groove. Clothes. Prior to Glasgow in 2014, which was the last Scottish city to host the Commonwealth Games? Edinburgh. Correct. Which British singer had UK chart success with the 2016 single called Human? Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> You don't look unlike Rag and Bone Man. Oh, no. Yes. You look very different to Beyonce. One correct answer. You got one counter here, Matt. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for drop zone two because I think this looks the most loaded. Okay, let's have drop zone two, please. Not been used yet, so let's put it in there. Yeah, set nicely. Tippy oh. point's very full there as well, so. Good go! Oh. That's always the worry when you've only got one to drop in. You might just fill a gap in the back of the shelf, which, Matt, I'm afraid that's exactly what you've done. You haven't managed to take anything from the machine, so you stay on £750. Right, Alison, great chance for you here. Okay. 30 seconds for Alison, please. Your time starts now. In the UK, which season of the year traditionally has the highest average temperature? Or um, summer. Correct. Which Disney princess sings, Someday My Prince Will Come? Hello, um, Jasmine. Snow White. Slam dunk the funk and everybody get up with UK top 10 hits for which British boy band? Backstreet Boys. Five. The famous cooking school, Le Cordon Bleu, was founded in which European capital city in 1895? Paris. Correct. Which Tudor king ordered the dissolution of the monasteries during the Reformation? Pass. Henry VIII. The logo of the car engine oil brand, Mobil, is predominantly blue with which letter of its name in red? M. It's the O. It's the O. Two correct answers in there. Okay. We've got two counters to try and catch yeah, Matt now. He's got five enough. counters more than you. What do you think you're looking at that machine, Alison? I'm going to go for drop zone two, I think. Right, drop zone two, please. Ooh, I could have done that coming out. Let's see, let's see. Could be good, though, the way that's positioned. It's nice and flat. Nice and flat, okay. So so good. Five counters to catch Matt. There you go, so it slides out over in drop zone three. Oh, okay. There's a double on the edge as well. 
Two counters dropped for you there, Alison. Okay. It's closing the gap fractionally. There's 100 pounds for those two. You've still got one more to put in. Drop zone two, please. Okay. Drop zone two for one last time, please. Comes down to this, Alison. We need three counters. You're going home. Slams down on the left. Slams down, doesn't it? That's where Matt left his one counter. It is flat. It is flat. Good. What do you think, Matt? I think it's going to get off the top shelf to see what happens on the bottom. What's going to happen on the bottom? It could be big. Got it. It's a double in there as well. Are they going to go? Oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh, well done, Alison. Okay, worth the wait. Thank you. Unfortunately, Matt, that means we're going to lose you at the end of this round. Alison. That's another eight across the tipping points. A really crappy last drop. It's 500 pounds in total. When we take it from the machine and put it into your bank, that changes everything. We have a new leader at the end of the round. Alison is leading with 1,000 pounds. Stephen goes through with 850 pounds. And Matt, I'm so sorry. That means right. 750 pounds. We have found you to the point. Of course, you have won your luxury picnic hamper. Thanks so much for playing, Matt. No problem. Thank you very much. So it is Stephen and Alison who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our 10,000 pound jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Two tipping point, just two players remain, Stephen and Alison. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you will be taking on the machine for our jackpot. Now, in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. And your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put your count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the count into the machine. And whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner and will be playing for our jackpot. Alison, you are now leading. No. After that fabulous Surprise. performance uh, in the last round. So you get to make the choice. Would you like the first question? Or would you like to offer control of the machine to Stephen? I think I'll take the first question, please. Okay, then. here we go then, Alison. First one for you. Which classic 1946 Christmas film begins with the line, I owe everything to George Bailey. Help him, dear father. Now you can play this or you can pass it to Stephen. No, I'm not sure, so I'm going to pass it over, please. Qua, cool. Stephen, any ideas? It's one of my favourite films. I'm going to get it wrong now after saying that. It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful I life. I wonder if it might be that one, Alison. Let's find out. Is the answer, it's a wonderful life? Yes, it is. Starring James Stewart, of course. It is a wonderful film. Uh, Stephen, you get the counter. Where do you want to put it? Uh, drop some two, please. Okay. Drop some two for Stephen. Great first deal. Three counters draws you level with Alison. Mm, hustles down that right-hand side very nicely. Come along, come along. Oh, yes. They thought about waiting, but they dropped in the end. Is it going to get in? One does drop. 50 pounds, so not too much damage, Alison. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank, Stephen. That puts you on 900 pounds. You're now just 100 pounds shy of Alison now. And you get your first question, Stephen. Here we go. Question number one. Pop star Dua Lipa collaborated with which Scottish DJ in the 2018 single One Kiss? I just can't picture his name. I know his background and all the rest of it. No, I'm going to have to pass it. Oh, Alison, you could steal this. Can you think of anyone? I don't know, it won't be right. Norman Cook, I don't know. Norman Cook, he had to go with something. Is the answer Norman Cook? No, it's Calvin Harris. That's true. Calvin Harris. Calvin Harris. Hard luck, Alison. Stephen, good pass in the end, because Alison didn't get it. So where would you like to put the counter? Drop some two again, please, Ben. Right, two up, please. There's a nicely massing tipping point there. Mm. Could be on the middle. Part of the right. Steady ricochet draw, life flat. Mmm, that looks a little bit like it's gonna cause a problem, and it does. Silver counter just slightly off line. Oh, We're that's riding lucky. There, For nothing there. So, control passes back to you, Alison. You're still £100 ahead. Time okay. for your second question. Until it was conquered in the 16th century, the South American city of Cusco was the historic capital of which civilization? History is not really my strong point. I'm gonna have a guess though. Do you think Stephen um, will know it? I think he probably will. I'm not gonna risk passing it over again. Okay. Um, I'll say the Aztecs. You're gonna go with the Aztecs. Okay, Stephen, what would you have said? I would have tried the Incas. Mm, the Incas was my other choice. Incas. So you're yeah. torn between Aztecs and Incas, Alison. Did you yeah. go with the right ones? Is the answer the Aztecs? 
No, it was the Incas. It was the Incas. It was the Incas, you know. Uh, if you passed that over, Stephen would have got it right. Yeah. Uh, so, Stephen, you steal another counter here. Yeah, okay. Where do you want to go? Drop zone two again. Two up, please. Maybe better luck this time. Nine counter drop, Stephen. On the steal as well, but we can double it up with that very nice double counter. So another 450. Takes to 900 pounds all on the steal. Let's take it and put it into your bank, and you suddenly have a very commanding lead of 1,800 pounds to Alison's 1,000 pounds. You keep control as well, Stephen. Time for your second question. What brightly coloured British bird has the Latin name Alcedo Actis? I'm not sure. And I'm hoping that uh, the school teacher hasn't been doing mm -hmm. ornithology with her class and pass it over to Alison. Pass it over again, thank you. Right, come on then, Alison. So what we want is a brightly coloured British bird. I don't know, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Kingfisher, because I I don't know. You're gonna go yeah. with Kingfisher? Yeah. Have you found the right answer? Alcido Atis. Is that the Latin name for a Kingfisher? It is indeed. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. There we go. Well I'm very well done. I'm alright to go home now. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. What are you thinking, Alison? Um, I'm going to go with drop zone two, please, Ben. Okay, let's stay up two, please. Sort of on the left-hand side now, isn't it? Left of centre. Yeah, left of centre. Get at that double, Alison. That'll be very handy. That black counter comes down. Could Let's get see what happens. On its own. There you go. Go on, go on, go on. Yes. Oh, it's coming out the double. Oh, the double okay. close. Three counters dropped. You've moved the double into position as well. That's 150 pounds. Let's take it and put it into your bank. 1,150 pounds. Right then, Alison, you keep control. Time for your third and final question. Kerosene is obtained from which fossil fuel using a process known as fractional distillation? I don't know, but I think Stephen will know. I don't. I really don't know. Um, I, I'll pass it over. Not know I'm doing this, but I'll pass it over because I, I don't know. Any idea, Stephen? I wish I hadn't have done that because I don't know. Oh, there you go, Alison. I'm, I'm torn between Cole's the obvious one, yeah, but I is it, think is that it too obvious? And then if Cole ever says something else and Cole comes up, I'll be kicking myself. Uh, but I would have thought I would have heard of it coming from Cole if it had a came from Cole. So I'm going to say Coke. Coke? Mm -hmm. Gone with Coke? Yeah. You were thinking Cole as well, Alison? I was thinking Cole. Steam has gone with Coke. Let's find out. Is kerosene obtained via fractional distillation from Coke? No, it's from oil. It's from oil. Oh, oil. That did cross my mind and I wasn't sure. Okay. Alison, either way, it doesn't matter. Because no. okay. you passed and Stephen got it wrong, so you keep the counter. Okay. Where are you going to put it? I'm going to stick with drop zone two, please. All then. right. Let's have two, please. Thirteen counters. Seven and the double. There's definitely seven there. Can you take the double out too? No. Mm, not sure that's the right place, is it? Unless it's flat. and Get that mystery down. Oh, you got yourself a ride about Oh, no. Oh, that is tough. Sadly, nothing for that drop. Oh. So you get control, Stephen. Time for your third and final question. The 5,000th episode of which children's television programme was broadcast on the 1st of February 2018? Got to be The Simpsons. You're going with The Simpsons. Yeah. OK. You could have passed this over to Alison. What programme might you have said? I was thinking something like Blue Peter. Like that. Stephen's got so, his hands. Um, jump in there. Yeah. Jumped in I would have thought it would be something that's been on for a long time, isn't it? Alison might have said Blue Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Stephen, have you made a, a big mistake? Is the answer The Simpsons? It's not. It is Blue Peter. Handed that one to Alison. You steal this counter. You still need 13 mm, counters out, Alison. It's going to be too much to ask, I think. What are you thinking then, Alison? I'm going to stick with drop zone two because it looks like there's a lot more hanging over drop zone two. So okay. I can only hope. Fire up drop zone two, please. Just that side. No. I don't know. 
Yeah. Sure. Is it going to get enough? The double could go if it gets that black counter forward. Can it take enough with it if they get over? Oh, oh. it's very close, Alison. Really, really close, but it needs a bit more help. I'm afraid that means the scores aren't going to change, and that means, Stephen, £1,800. Very well done. You Thank are you. today's winner. Congratulations, team. Well team. done. You gave Thanks, it a great team. shot, Alison, but with £1,150, we have found it to the point. Thank you for playing. No, thank you. It's been a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Stephen, it all comes down to our jackpot counter now. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. It's a little bit bigger, but so much better than all those other counters. If you can get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Stephen master the machine by finding his jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. the final part of Tipping Point. Stephen is our winner today and has managed to get £1,800. Well done. Thank you. If we were to get the jackpot out, Stephen, what do you think you'd like to do with the money? Well, uh, we, I went to WrestleMania last year with Did my you? son. Uh, <laughs> so if I can win the money and convince my wife that we can go to WrestleMania, then that's what we'll that do. That would be pretty special. Fingers crossed we get that Thank jackpot counter out. So can you both have a well of a time? Yeah. Best of luck, Stephen. Thank you very much. Time to find out whether Stephen's going to win our jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask him to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. If you want to go home with £20,000, see if you can get it to drop with that double counter. Mm. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more counters you play for, the harder the question will be. The more counters you win, the easier it should be to get that jackpot counter out. So we need to think about the jackpot counter, Stephen. I'm looking at the drop zone one. Yep. So maybe less counters for it to navigate with. And if, if I don't get it out, I've got the double there, maybe to boost whatever Money. other counters yeah. I get. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to drop some on then? Please. Let's do it. Buy one up, please. Ooh, slides over to the left. Mm -hmm. So it's not in the double, but it's no. nice and tight to the side, which is never a bad thing. Yeah, that's good. And oh. we ship this lot. There's a lot there yeah. with the double. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Two counters okay. dropped. Two went across the tipping point, which is £100. One of them's the double, though. Let's double it up and give you another £100. So we're up to £2,000 in the machine. And the jackpot count is nice and tight up against the edge of drop zone one. OK, let's have a look at your category, Stephen. This is what we've got for you. Sport, hobbies, music, numbers, film and human body. You can play them in any order you like. So where do you want to start with how many? I'll start at the top. I'll start, start with sport. OK. And uh, up three, please. Sport for three, please. Which golfer won the green jacket at the 2018 US Masters Tournament? Patrick Reed, Jordan Spieth, or Bubba Watson? Yeah, I watched this. Uh, I'm a big, uh, a big fan of the majors, so uh, do you know who won? It was Patrick Reed. So let it out, please. We'll go, Patrick Reed, please. So the winner of the 2018 US Masters was it, Patrick Reed? Yes. B50 Fowler by one stroke, I think. Yes, that's right. Uh, three counts for us here. Drop zone one. Please. Far out, please. Down that left hand side. Great. Yep, yep, yep. Steady, steady. Yes. Well, just sort of had a little bit of left hand side then. Yeah. Span and settle. So, 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 so. Yes. Good, good. It's really tight. Mm -hmm. Really good start. Let's drive it forward. Nicely done, Stephen. <laughs> 50 pounds drops in, let's add that. Takes us to 2,050 in the machine. Two to go. Mm -hmm. One again. Yes, please. Fire it up. Oh, we built too central. A little bounce in the skip mm -hmm. away, wasn't it? Ah, no. I'm just going to slide up and over the black yes. counter, I think. I don't think it's going to help us at all. No. No? Okay, one more to go. Okay. Drop some one. Fire it up, please. No. Now, as that drives it forward, might get a squeeze on the back pop. That counts are going to do anything. Is it just going to linger? Just oh, too deep on the shelf. Yes. So, nothing more to add, but it's not a bad result. Mm -hmm. We're on the edge of the top shelf. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the categories. So we're heading down the list. Hobbies next? Yes, please. For how many? Three, please. Hobbies for three. In Scrabble, what is the face value of the letter M tile? Two points, three points, or four points? Usually the lowest uh, 
number of points are for the vowels. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's going to be two. Okay. So it's either three or four. Let's go three. Three? Okay, we're going with three, please. Have you got the right answer? Would it be worth three points? Yes. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah, great stuff. Now the three counters. Mm -hmm. Top ten, one. Please. One up, please. Over the wrong side. We get some counters over. There's a lot yeah. on the bottom, yeah, and it's not so two down. there. If we get a little bit of lateral on that lot, there you go. Oh, yeah, nicely done. It's not too shabby. Seven count to drop. Three hundred and fifty pounds. Not too shabby at all. Mm -hmm. Takes us two thousand four hundred. Two more to go. Drop someone again. Yes, please. Drop someone. Load it up. So there's someone on the right. Yes. Someone on the left. Oh, nearly. You might get a wee bit of. It's quite tightly packed there, isn't it? And that's a war over my back. Okay. Nice stash here. Yep. 50 pounds drops yep. in. Takes the 2,450. Last one, drops in one. Yes, drops in one. Let's please. do it, yeah. please. Okay. Oh, it keeps graduating to the middle, doesn't it? It has a little extra skip. Mm. Flat though, now mm -hmm. it squeezes the, oh, yeah. squeeze the jackpot there. It stays on the slit. There, a little bit, a little bit. You bet, you bet. You can collect those as and when. But not as much movement as we'd like, but we're still in good nick yeah. here, Stephen. Back to the categories. So, music is next. Mm -hmm. uh, let's hope it's not too modern for an old boy like me, so I'll go with three again. Music for three, please. The David Bowie albums, Low, Heroes and Lodger, are collectively referred to by what title? The Berlin Trilogy, the Paris Trilogy or the Rome Trilogy? Yeah, he recorded in, uh, in Germany in, in that early part, so it's the Berlin Trilogy. Berlin Trilogy? Yeah. We're going with Berlin Trilogy, please. Pretty confident about this. The David Bowie albums, Low, Heroes and Lodger, are they known as the Berlin Trilogy? Yes, indeed they are. Great stuff. Another good answer. So three more counters. Drop some more. Let's Fire it up. No, no. Let's see how this affects things. Oh, I'm in the game. Little squeeze on it. Yeah. Little squeeze. Yeah. Okay. One down. Two to go. Okay, drop some more. One up, please. Skip in. Yes. Oh, right, just the fact. Ah, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Two. Mm. Right, it's just there as well. You see that first one? Yes. Gonna just nudge it. Okay, one more to go. Okay. Drop someone, please. Give it and keep it over to the right. No, over to the right. Can we get anything affected here? Little squeeze. Got another little squeeze. Yeah. Let's take something in two as well as one. Nice. That's nice. That's a nice drop. Ten counters drop. Very nice. Five hundred pounds goes in. We're up to just shy of three thousand. Two thousand nine hundred fifty. Now we're not actually getting at the jackpot counter, but it's been slowly squeezed yes. closer and closer. Yes. So I think we're going in the right direction. Back to the categories. Numbers for three, please. Man. Numbers for three, please. In geometry, what name is given to an angle that is larger than one hundred and eighty degrees? but less than 360 degrees. Reflex, acute or obtuse? Acute's the small one. Acute's the really small one. And I think obtuse is the one next to that, sort of between 90 and 180. And I think reflex is the large one. I think it's reflex. So you go reflex? Please. Okay, we're going with reflex. Let's find out. Is the answer reflex? Yes. You're absolutely bang on. Three counters, well done. Chop some more. Thank you very much, yes, please. Fire up. So come on. Yeah, come the on. only one we've had right behind it was the very first one we threw in. Oh, no. Squeeze again. Just another little nudge. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the 
that counter looks like it might drop. It does, yeah. Okay. 15 pounds there. It's going to take us to a very nice round 3,000 pounds. Still got two more to go. Drop some, please. Okay. Drop some one, please. Might need it to land on the right and roll or. Yeah, the other way about. Yeah. It's going left and then going right. Yeah, exactly. Go now. Oh, no, that way. Just do the gap. Yep, yep. Okay, nothing there. One more. Yes, please. Drop some one. Light it up. Might squeeze it, might get a little nibble. Oh, and next to it's gone. Yeah, two counters do flick into the wind zone, so let's give you another hundred pounds. It's a very stubborn jackpot counter we got at the moment. Let's go back to categories. Film for three, please, man. Film for three. Which actress starred as the title character in the 1968 cult film Barbarella? Sophia Loren, Bridget Bardot, or Jane Fonda? Jane Fonda, starred in Barbara, Barbara Dollar. Let it out, please. We're going with Jane Fonda. So the actress that starred in the 1968 cult film Barbarella, was it Jane Fonda? Yes, it was. Well done. Right, talk to someone again. Yes, please. Fire it up. There's the lift, there's the lift. Ah, just could get it down with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well done. Finally. Still not right on the side, but it is there and then about. It's like four counts as well. £200 goes in, so the money goes up nicely to 3300 And we're on the bottom shelf. We're getting, there. Like we're getting there. Two more to go in, Steve. Okay, drop some one. One up, please. Yes, please. Drop someone, please. Get over, get over, get over. Oh, oh, How's that squeezing that black kind of right on the edge? There, look. look, 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 look. Shapes it a bit better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's take some money if we can get it. Yeah. We'll have to wait for yeah. get it. So we're on the bottom shelf. Yes. Okay, let's go back to categories. Human body. Three, please, now. Human body to three. Where in the body are the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles located? Legs, arms, or stomach? Well, gastro is to do with uh, the digestive system, so the stomach is, is the thing that comes to mind. So I would ignore legs and arms and go with stomach. Stomach? Please. Well, no, that's stomach then. We need this now. Is the answer the stomach? Yes, no. Well, it's not. Collectively, they're the calf muscles. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, Stephen, because that role was fantastic in terms of answering questions, but we kind of just hit the buffers. However, despite the fact we're out of questions and categories, it's not over. Mm. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand at 3300 you can walk away with it right now, or you can trade it for three final counts, put it into the machine, and I hope you're getting that jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, nothing else has any value. So you leave with £10,000, or you leave with nothing mm -hmm. at all. What do you reckon? Three counts, would it be enough? It's funny, I'm almost tempted to play along and, and say I'm going to go for the the, uh, the extra three counters just to see the look of horror in my wife's face at home. <laughs> but to be honest, I think I've been pushing my luck. I don't think, I don't think it's been working for me since towards the beginning, so yeah. I think I'll stick with what I've got. Okay, take the 3,300. I'll ask one last time, would I take the money on the trade? I'll take the money. Please. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Great stuff, Stephen. Thank you. 3,300 pounds, as you say, is a really lovely amount of money, uh, isn't it? Absolutely. However, strange things happened with this peculiar contraption of ads. So we're going to play out the trade and see what might have happened. Do I have to? Yes, you do. <laughs> Drop one. Edge the jackpot counter towards the wind zone. Drop two. Sells right past the jackpot counter. This is the third and final drop. Stand round! Oh, come on! on. Is it going to go with that black count? Is it going to go? Oh, Stephen! I'm not, Stephen! I'm closing my eyes. I'm not looking. Stephen! Oh, Stephen, no! <laughs> I 
back at 3,300. You have. Then, please. It's one of the most painful things to watch. <laughs> but like you say, 3,300 pounds is a lovely amount of money. Yeah. Gonna grit there, and I've got money at the end of it, I'm pleased. Yeah. And of course, you've won a champagne experience and overnight stay as well. It's been a great day. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. The Harvard's brilliant. brilliant. Absolutely great brilliant. stuff. So there you go. Stephen Leeds with £3,300. He was very tempted to go for the trade. Decided not to. He dropped on the trade. Would you have been brave enough to do it though? Join us next time when the fate of four more players will hang in the balance on Timpoint. Goodbye. Oh.